All right, so we're out of uh, coming out of uh, Wiley Post here. We're, we've got some, uh, oh, I don't know, we don't know yet, light clear on the leading edge. So uh, stall warning heat comes on, prop heat comes on. You can hear the bacon frying maybe in the headset. We'll go ahead and push the boots and see if we can get some of that to break off. And if we can, then uh, uh, we'll call it light. If it doesn't come off, we'll call it trace, clear. Really not very much. It looks like it's coming off. So the next question is, is it coming back? In which case, if it comes back, and requires the boots right after the first cycle, then it's moderate. I don't see it really coming back right away, so I'm going to report it as uh, light, clear ice, minus 1C. Uh, departure 40 Hotel Papa would like to re uh, report uh, a light, clear ice, uh, mi minus 1 and 0C. Hotel Papa, light clear ice at uh, your present altitude? At 8,500. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like. Coming over here. This looks the same, I guess. It's really no, no different. At 40 Hotel Papa, like to continue the climb. Maintain 1-5, 15,000. 1-5,000, thanks, uh, 40 Hotel Palmer. All right, so we're going to continue the climb. Lima Victor, kind of approach, one, two, four, five, and we're going to climb at a rate, we're going to keep six, uh, 42 Victor, inches. Okay. We're going to climb at a rate that gives us ice penetration speed, which is uh, about 130, 135 knots. So um, that ought to be at this out density altitude about, well, I don't know, uh, Try 800 feet a minute, see what happens. So, we don't want to mess with the ice. I mean, you know, it's not scary dangerous, but it, you know, it, if you don't pay attention, it, it can uh, get away. You know, it can, can run away. So, we want to be real careful with that. So, you notice we're climbing, but the oat is staying the same. What's up with that? Well, everybody knows, I think, that lapse rates don't hold up very well in... Uh, in frontal activity. Uh, 40 Hotel Papa, enable proceed direct to Alpha Victor Lehman, contact forward center now on 132.2. 32.2, direct Asheville, 40 Hotel Papa. Thanks. So long. All right, it's a lot to remember. Let's get that done. 32.2, direct Asheville is easy to remember, so let's do this first. Uh, and then Asheville, direct, enter, enter. I'll take it out of OBS. I had that in there because he had me flying out of radial to the 40 DME fix. So I used the OBS to set that up. And now then, uh, uh, so that's the desired track of 082, which uh, we'll just dial that in here. Oh, yeah, like so. 082. And uh, switch to nav. That looks like it'll do it. Okay, uh, <clears throat> outside air temperature still 0C, and uh, yeah, I don't know, hasn't really come back, so I do hear, the, American, uh, 15, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the bacon frying in the headset, which is uh, uh, either antenna ice or uh, more likely prop heat, and, uh, verify your direct McAllister. cycling on and off. Oh, 220, we are direct McAllister at this time, American 1538, thanks. So we're up to 1-5,000, I could turn off the pulse lights, uh, fuel pump is off, landing light is off, we're all good there. So we're climbing at 135 knots, 800 feet a minute, full power, uh, which is, you know, a strategy to, uh, to deal with ice. Yeah, because if we can't out-climb it, obviously we're not going all the way to Asheville at, at 7,000 feet, we'd have to the flight, so I'd rather not do that. But as long as the equipment's working correctly and we can stay within the procedural limits set forth in my standard operating procedure, then I'm okay with the conditions um, flying in them. Now then, if, if you're curious about what those conditions are,
please go to my website and download the uh, uh, standard operating procedures for the PA-46. And if you have any trouble, you can't find them, why give me a call. And uh, this is Dick Rochefort, pilot trainer of the PA-46. Fly safely, train often.